That's right. I mean, I think the protests are only growing, maybe not so much in the numbers of the people at the protests, but they're just becoming more constant, almost a permanent feature outside of the parliament. What I think is extraordinarily remarkable is that when you talk to the people, it doesn't seem like they'll be happy with any of the options that their government is discussing. So just a few days ago, everybody was against Plan A, the plan that their president agreed with the Troika. Uh, but the more they learn about the various configurations of Plan B, they don't sound like they're very happy with that. And some people have even told me maybe we should have gone with Plan A. So you have the president, the head of the central bank, saying to the parliamentarians, you have to act. We have to vote on Plan B right now. They keep describing Plan B, saying it's pretty much all uh, agreed on. And yet they were supposed to vote on it nine hours ago. So there's disagreement between uh, the Cypriot politicians on the actual makeup of that Plan B. The basic contour is uh, the second largest bank will be reorganized. It's called Cyprus Popular Bank. And if you've got less than 100,000 euros in it, that'll be guaranteed. If you've got more, well, you'll be sacrificed and you could lose at least 60 percent of your money. The real human drama here, though, is not just at the protests, it's at the cash machines. That's where you see these very anxious people pulling their money out, not just to cover their costs like they were a couple of days ago, because with the branches closed, the only way you can get money is, is to pull it out of the cash machines, but because they're concerned that when the banks do reopen on Tuesday, there's not going to be anything for them to get. There's a limit now on how much you can get out of the cash machines. It's 260 euros, and, and that's all people really have to get, day, uh, you know, get through their days.